Alrighty boys, checking in. So I'm just parked outside the doctors right now. I uh, just got my appointment done, just getting my testosterone results back. And bear in mind, I'm gonna I'll tell you guys my results, bro. I, I don't care. Um, I'm not like embarrassed. Why why would I be embarrassed about my results of this? I'm actually surprised because the reason I got it checked is just that during the time period, uh, it was like a few weeks ago. You guys would have probably seen on the journey um because i've been obviously trying to upload every single day for these check-ins i went through like a period of just feeling very 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 tired like no matter how much i slept no matter how good i ate i still felt like very tired and i just didn't know why and i got the blood works done initially and we found out that my iron levels are low it seems to be due to just my body struggling to absorb the iron, but I'm feeling a lot better lately. But when I got my testosterone blood test done, I was still feeling very tired. I feel much better now. Like last night, I only got like five hours of sleep. Not that I'm, I don't think I'm really running off of cortisol today. I don't feel stressed out that much or anything. So it's just that I think maybe I was just really tired because my dopamine levels were just fried. I think maybe it's that because ever since I switched to having a personal phone where I can't access social media and music and all that and be like sticking with that for most of the day I feel a lot better okay so much better as soon as I start listening to music I can feel my energy level just dropping so I think it's got to be a little bit more of like a factor of dopamine really being like part of like one of the key players here but anyway my results bro and I haven't I haven't even been sleeping the best and all that. So like, this is not even like peak performance, but I'm at 900 nanograms per deciliter. I'm almost at a thousand and I'm, I haven't even been like living very holistically like I used to. I used to get like hours of sunlight every day, heaps of sleep every day. I used to be like very, very on point with my diet, no slacking. Um, I, I, and this, this test, I've not even, I had, I hadn't even been waking up in a tent every single morning. So that's interesting. That's me feeling like trash, feeling low. So I wonder what my like testosterone levels are when I'm actually feeling good. It must be a thousand plus, bro. A thousand plus. And that's on like no supplements, no nothing to boost my testosterone. That's just like as raw and as natural, as fasted, as natural as it can be. No like enhancements or anything from any supplements. That's me actually feeling like dog shit. And that's me like not even like health maxing or anything that's just that's a low that's a low point for me that's 900 nanograms per deciliter but then of course you got to bear in mind that it's it's not actually that important what your like how much like what your number is in terms of how high your nanograms per deciliter is it doesn't really matter if your body is not like actually able to use it right so you could be like a lower, I think there's, I heard something about this on like moreplacemoredays.com where it's like, you could be 400 nanograms per deciliter, but feel like someone who has a thousand nanograms per deciliter. It just depends on how your body, I think can absorb it or like how like the testosterone binds to your cells. I don't know the science behind it, but yeah. Um, so I wonder what my testosterone levels are at when I'm actually feeling high T, when I'm actually waking up bricked every single morning um it's got to be above a thousand so i'm very impressed i i legit thought that i'll be at 400 but then again like i said i think it has to do with how your body actually like uses it if it like binds to the receptors or whatever efficiently or what if there's something blocking it who knows but anyway 900 nanograms per deciliter i'm quite impressed <laughs> so yeah pretty high t for a young man I must say in today's times and this is not like i said i'm not even health maxing at the moment i've been trying to but it's tough man it's i'm what what i mean is i'm not like health maxing like i used to like i just can't because of the workload that i have on my shoulders but anyway i gotta go to gym and i'll see you guys in a bit all right boys workout is complete it was very fun um i actually didn't get around to filming a single set but i was doing Pretty much a pull day i've thrown deadlifts back into the mix and with like a lot of volume and that felt really freaking good excuse me and uh yeah got a sick back pump like my back is firing up right now so it was good um apart from that man the bulk is going pretty good so i'm just gonna fuel up i've got to get my last meal in and then i literally have two more days of working at my current job before 
I'm completely free, completely out of there. And apparently there's a cyclone coming. Uh, it's gonna hit us like Friday, Saturday. So I think that could be a very good opportunity to just get content, bro, because I have been slacking on the content, not because I've been lazy, because I've been extremely busy, okay? I'm very proud of myself for going to the gym just because I, I didn't I didn't actually really want to go, but because I was like running out of time. That's already, I was supposed to be in bed an hour ago. I um, don't know if you can see how tired I am, but just gotta send it man like if i don't go i'm not gonna <laughs> i'm not gonna get stronger i'm not gonna grow and all this like food i'm eating for the bulk like it's not gonna go anywhere if i'm not like giving my muscles a reason to grow right so yeah i'm gonna post a little physique pick up right now the back is looking quite juicy yeah man i'll see you tomorrow peace